Okay, so let's go ahead and expose the evil within our own people. Let's continue reading in Ezekiel chapter 23, verse 11. Her sister Aholiba, which we already know this is the people of Yerushalayim, more specifically the tribes that stood while the ten left. It says, Her sister Aholiba saw this, yet in her lust and prostitution, she was more depraved than her sister. She too lusted after the assassins, the Assyrians, governors and commanders, warriors in full dress, mounted horsemen, or handsome young men. I saw that she too defiled herself. Both of them went the same way. This is for whoever does these things. Now this is an article from Vice.com. Scenes from a Mexican black mass. For three days, every March, witches and warlocks gather in Catamaco to burn pentagrams and summon the devil. Which, you know, we're not going to go ahead and read this entire article because there's too much to read. You can read it for yourself. We're just going to scroll down to show you all this wickedness within our people. have pentagrams on them. They sacrifice animals. They have a statue of the devil with his genitals out. This is the things that the Most High Yahweh was telling us about, warning us not to do. You want to finish it off? You can go ahead and watch it for yourself. This is from the book of Adam and Eve, chapter 17. And we're going to read from verse 3. And whereas aforetime the serpent was the most exalted of all beasts, now it was changed and became slippery. And the meanest of them all crept on his breast and went on its belly. So, let's go ahead and read the next one. And whereas it was the fairest of all beasts, it had been changed. So, remember we talked about this in a previous video. You see, the snake, in the beginning, it was the fairest of all beasts. And this is why, you know, you have... Uh, writings of mystical creatures such as the dragons and things like that all right because the snake back then in some cultures it was like a, a symbol of wisdom all right people didn't mistake it to be evil but nowadays it is evil because the most tell you how would change that creature to symbolize the fall of the watchers right which these Celestial beings that the Most High Yahweh made once they betrayed the Most High, he cursed them. And so this creature, the fairest creature of all beasts, took this, you know, took this curse to represent what happened with the Watchers. I'm just trying to, you know, uh, say it as clearly as I can so that nobody gets confused. And so, therefore, it says, And whereas it was the fairest of all beasts, it had been changed, and was become the ugliest of them all. Instead of feeding on the best food, now it turned to eat the dust. Instead of dwelling as before in the best places, now it lived in the dust. You get it now? So that's why the Most High Yahweh, you, you know, calls Leviathan, the coiling snake, the snake of the dust, you know, the vipers of the dust. The Most High Yahweh says that he will sin after the wicked the venom of the vipers of the dust is the same poison that our people are into do you get it okay they talk about death they worship the day of the dead so now let's talk about the serial killer this is richard ramirez also known as night stalker i'm not going to spoil it too much for you but again, you know, if you want to find out more about this guy, go ahead. He was evil, point blank, period. He was a Satanist. Now, where did he get that from? He must have got it from around his childhood, family members, friends who are also into Satanism. Now, this is something that you're going to have to understand, okay? They worship something called Santa Muerte, all right? They worship saints, death itself okay you have to understand all this stuff right all this stuff comes from 
you know, the the the, the things that the Most High Howard warned our people about, the 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 customs of Egypt, and we're gonna get into that. So Genesis forty nine and three, Reuben, you are my firstborn, my might, the first sign of my strength, excelling in honor, excelling in power. Turbulent as the waters, you will no longer excel, for you went up unto your father's bed. Remember, in the previous part of this video, I told you to pay attention to that one part where the Most High Yahweh says that these people have went up on a high and lofty hill. They made their bed there. Remember that, right? So it says, for you went up unto your father's bed, unto my couch, and defiled it. Deuteronomy 33 and 6. Let Reuben live and not die, nor his people be few. Why? We have to talk about this. Because the majority of his people are not living. They're living in death, worshiping death, the day of the dead, el día de los muertos. Okay? So let Reuben live and come out of death. Furthermore, I'm not here to convince you. I'm here to show you through the spirit of Yahweh. Genesis 35 and 22. While Yashara was living in that region, Reuben went in and slept with his father's concubine, Bilhah, and Yashara heard of it. So, what Reuben did, right, it, it represented the sin of his descendants now. These customs that were from Egypt. Okay, so this is pretty much what happened here. Reuben slept with one of his father's concubine. He made his bed with one of his father's concubine. You see that? So that's what happened with our people. Our people, they they lusted after this strange woman, right? Most High Yahweh took our people out of Egypt, brought them over here, and they started doing the same thing that they were doing in Egypt. All right? First Chronicles 5 and 1. The sons of Reuben, the firstborn of Yasharel. He was the firstborn, but when he defiled his father's marriage bed, his rights as firstborn were given to the sons of Joseph, sons of Yasharel. Now, Micah 2 and 10 says, Get up, go away, for this is not your resting place, because it is defiled. It is ruined beyond all remedy. Remember the Most High Yahweh took his people out of Egypt. Because why? Because that was not their resting place. That was their place of captivity. You see that? So any philosophy, any customs, anything that was in Egypt is to be forgotten. Like the Most High Yahweh says, when you go to conquer their city, in the name of Yahweh, do not let anything breathe. That's talking about their philosophy, their wisdom. Well, that is the reason why the Most High Yahweh sent the locusts over here in the first place. You have to go back into history. People are lost. They don't know why things are the way they are because they choose not to want to know these things. They don't want to believe it. They don't want to understand that this is the root of the problem. Your forefathers, ancestors, sinned. The same sins you're doing, they did. That's why we lost this land. It's about coming out of this mindset of evil, of darkness. Okay? Get up, go away, for that's not your resting place. It is defiled. You see that? All these things, they have picked up from their ancestors. Psalms 106 and 38. They shed innocent blood, the blood of their sons and daughters, whom they sacrificed to the idols of Canaan. And the land was desecrated by their blood. Do you see why the locusts came over here? Right? Because, again, as I said in a previous video, the Most High Yahweh brought the locusts here to punish his people. That did happen. Why? Because they were doing human sacrifices in this land. They defiled themselves by what they did. By their deeds, they prostituted themselves. You see that? So their actions and the things they do is how they prostitute themselves to their demon gods. Okay? Isaiah chapter 30 verse 6. A prophecy concerning the animals of the Negev through a land of hardship and distress, of lions and lioness, of adders and darting snakes. The envoys carry their riches on donkeys' backs, their treasures on the humps of camels to that unprofitable nation, to Egypt, whose help is utterly useless. You see that? Remember that. Therefore, I call her Rahab to do nothing, 
remember we talked about the covenant that they made with their eyes so they have been intoxicated with the wisdom the wine of a strange woman all right death bringing treasures to death rather say and now look what it says here in job chapter 9 verse 13 the most high does not restrain his anger okay so it does not matter how much you people are into death but you have not experienced the punishment of the most high the most high does not restrain his anger even the cohorts of rahab cowered at his feet this is why it says in micah 7 and 10 then my enemy will see it and will be covered with shame she who said to me where is yahweh your god my eyes will see her downfall okay yahweh is gonna get the last laugh even now she will be trampled on the foot like mire in the streets isaiah chapter 10 verse 3 what will you do on the day of reckoning when disaster comes from afar to whom will you run for help where will you leave your riches see that all these people that are worshiping this strange philosophy all these people who deny the most high Yahweh, who go against his ways what will you do on the day of reckoning you haven't felt his anger, his judgment, his wrath. They just do evil for fun, okay? This is them bringing Rahab their riches. So the Most High Yahweh says on the day of judgment, when disaster comes from afar, to whom you will run for help? All right, your Santa Muerte, your, your, your idol worship, right? Your Santa Maria, your Santa Guadalupe. None of that is going to help you when Yahweh strikes you okay remember that a lot of our people are into this worship where did this come from this comes from the root of their ancestors mexico and texas they were all considered to be the aztec empire back in the days their descendants still have that culture whether it's not the same way that it used to be but it's modernized before the europeans came here the Native Americans were fighting against the tribes like these, like the Mayans, the Incas, these other tribes who were into human sacrifices. Where did they learn all this? In Egypt, because in Egypt they did the same thing. So do you see what the Most High Yahweh is saying? This is why you lost the land, okay? This is why, for doing the same things that your ancestors did, being into human sacrifices. Worshipping demons. Now let's go ahead and read from the book of Enoch. This is chapter 15. We're going to read from verse 8. And now the giants who are produced from the spirits and flesh shall be called evil spirits upon the earth. Okay, these are the evil spirits that they're worshipping. They are. They are worshipping evil spirits. And on the earth shall be their dwelling. Evil spirits have proceeded from their bodies because they are born from men and from the holy watchers is their beginning and primal origin they shall be evil spirits on earth and evil spirits shall they be called you see that as we talked about these people who are serial killers these people who you know openly worship satan you become a lost spirit you see that you are considered to be an evil spirit roaming the earth the shadow people that's where you will be there is no light in darkness remember that okay but when you honor the most high there's light everywhere we're never afraid of the darkness look what it says here and the spirits of the giants which again this is talking about the watchers when it says giants the nephilims it says and the spirits of the giants afflict oppress destroy attack do battle and work destruction on the earth and cut and cause trouble they take no food but nevertheless hunger and thirst and cause offenses and these spirits shall rise up against the children of men and against the woman because why because they have proceeded from them okay so as we talked about this this evil spirit is what makes a person a serial killer you know when they are openly worshiping satan okay 
when they're openly worshiping these things that are evil. 